All right, it is 6.30 in the morning. We have about 30 minutes and we've got to get on to the My Disney Experience app and try to get a virtual queue for Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. So I'm gonna screen record this. I've never done that before, but I'm gonna try to screen record it and see if I can show you the process. I'm also immediately afterwards, if we grab a good time at least, um, or even if it's a little bit later, I'm gonna try to get a lightning lane as well. Yeah, I'm paying for the lightning lane. I'm not a big fan, but we're only here for one day. So I'm trying to maximize my experience a little bit. So I'm gonna try to get on there and get a lightning lane as well. That way we'll be able to ride it twice. Oh, this is nerve wracking. Six, five, four, three, Join now. Not eligible. Why? It's not working. Oh my God. It's not working. What time do we want to do it? Nine o'clock? Nine thirty? Yeah. Go back and try it. Okay, I got lightning links for 9.30, so we're good either way. Wait, we're in it. Oh, because we already got one. We got one. Oh, we did? Yeah, so we're group number four. <laughs> That's where we're going first thing in the morning, apparently. So our lightning lane is from 9.25 to 10.25. So we got a little bit of wiggle room. I think it's that one. It's a go. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, I'm the thing, the little thing. So it's 8:27 right now. We're already into the park. Brantley's shoes is untied. Which is a lot of things going on right now. No, but uh, we came along Skyliner. At probably about 8:20, and there was already people coming in to stand in line. So the 8:30 early access, you might be able to get in a little bit earlier than that. So something to know. But we're here right at 8:30, a little bit earlier. We'll see how long we're at the two we use. The Remy is gone. But why is he gone? He was right there. Remember where we said that Kylie couldn't see over the edge for that maze? Okay. Um, <laughs> it was good times. Okay. But he was right in the middle, wasn't he? Yeah. Was or he was he there? there? Maybe he was here, I think. Like in this oh, little yeah. space. But there definitely used to be a bell. I was like, he's ginormous. <laughs> wow. Look at the fountain! I feel like we walked right past all this so fast last time. So it does stop out here. So it probably won't be five minutes. 828. 20 minutes. Looks like the line stops right there at the door. Last time this thing was only five minutes long, but we pretty much walked right through it. But we'll see how long. We're right outside the door. So we're just where the outside portion starts. And we're, and we're, well, never mind, we're inside. That was fast. Space in front of you, massive. Cool, man. Yeah. Sitting at 15 minutes right now. So, not bad. 
pretty much still a walkout. So talking about rope dropping, still, still totally worth it. Even though we we got up, had breakfast, we didn't rush at all. They've already changed the seats to the flat bench style. I was wondering if they did. Say hi. <laughs> the chef Flannery is waiting for you. This way. Pour le repas idéal. En coma? No. A simple omelet? Too simple. What? Mais oui, that's it! Just like last time. Look at the line now. Good call, Kylie. Congratulations. Good job. Kylie's the one that said it. There we go. So now it's all the way out here. We waited about 15 minutes. The last time we did this, but we were like here early, early. They let people in earlier than normal for early access today than the last time we were here. So that's probably why. It was a little bit longer. Last time it was only five minute wait. It was a walk on. This was almost basically a walk on. It was 15 minutes, but you were constantly moving, so it didn't feel too bad. But uh, now we actually have Cosmic Rewind coming up. Group number four. Festival of the Arts. Found out some news about the barges. Kind of a controversial one. We'll see. Apparently, we've been getting mixed reviews on them. Some people like them, some people don't. Some people say that they're kind of ugly in the way, ruin the scenic views. Um, but I heard the nighttime show was pretty good. So they're supposed to be bringing back the one that they had before. I can't even remember what the name of it was before. But um, Harmonious is going away. They've taken the barges down. What they didn't say is though, when they bring a newer show back, if they're bringing it back or not. I don't know if they're movable, if they can bring them in and out as they please. But uh, yeah, by the time we come back again, they'll probably be gone. Wave it at them. Like we Hi everyone. Hi. I'm Olaf. And I like warm hugs. Hi Olaf. <laughs> I like the loser. <laughs> Kylie's done. Mm. Wave it better. Buzz it again. <laughs> <laughs> that was epic. So we're here. Festival of Arts is also here. We actually didn't come for that, but it just happens to be here. But you know what else is pretty awesome about Epcot besides this? It's this right here. Monorail! I'm so jealous of them right now. They're seeing all the views of the construction over here for the Moana water stuff. Wow. That is quite impressive for chalk. My chalk art looks like a five-year-old got drunk and stole the chalk. Yeah, somebody did these. Somebody wow. chalk these. Colorful. Hey, the smolder. And then the confusion. I can do the smolder. Okay. Fruit. People. Beach. And arty art. Impressive, good job. We head towards that. Oh, that's great. Okay. Are we late? Are we no. missing it right now? You don't say no. It's the same thing as raccoon. He make noises. Boo. Do it and run. Last time we were here, none of that was open. 
we used to have to walk around through here and all this was close so now connections cafe over there is open hey there's and a the joffrey's eatery. right there and there's a joffrey's right Let's there go. get her picture done <laughs> i got a picture of you taking a picture it makes noises this thing was supposed to be floating and then they put this big stand. Remember we walked through when they were building it? It does. It doesn't look as bad. Alright, we'll do first impressions. Wow. Why is Kylie leading? Knowledge, and I am now oh, it is. you and your floor. <laughs> it's a lot of my knowledge of your world came from your great scholar Peter Quill. However, many of his facts have yet to be confirmed, such as the incredible importance of a legend called Footloose. <laughs> Footloose. <laughs> Such as your fascination Ooh. with eating the what heck of a walk. leg. Why only the leg? What about the rest of this creature? I like those lights. <laughs> There's a lot of ramps going up. I actually don't know if you can even record on this one. Since we're riding it twice, if I can, I'll record the second one. The first time, I'm just going to enjoy the ride. Plus 500 members. Today, we operate as a massive Xandar would have never survived the freedom line, were it not for the intervention of this ragtag team we know as the Guardians of the Galaxy. To us, uh -huh. I would like to have seen a lot of that stuff, but the price you paid to be able to skip the line, I guess. There's a part in there where Star Lord's in there, and it has him, and he's talking about how much fun he used to have at Epcot. And he said, I can't wait to go back and see the Ellen dinosaurs and ride Horizons, all rides, all rides that are shut down now. Kind of funny. Is it alive? Oh. And now, please step forward into the welcome Man. center, making room for King's Terrence. I am Nova Prime Irani Rayal, commander of the Nova Corps. On behalf of all Xandarians, I hope you have enjoyed exploring the wonders of Xandar. So we decided to come to you. But even we could not have reached you so easily were it not for the Cosmic Generator, an advanced piece of Xandarian technology that creates jump points, artificial tunnels that act as shortcuts linking distant points in space. It is our desire to share this wondrous technology with your people so that together we might explore new worlds and create a brighter tomorrow. Epcot powers. Epcotians. Citizens of Epcot. Yeah. Does anyone know what they call themselves? What? I'm on. Someone needs to tell me when I'm on. I'm on Welcome. Epcot Terrence, I am Centurion Tau Merrick, and we're just about ready to teleport you up to the ship for the demonstration. As you're about to enter a secure Nova area, I must ask you to put away your Terran communication devices at this time. Recording of any type is strictly prohibited. I am very serious about this. Now, please step forward into the chamber. You're gonna love this. You that we have never teleported Terrans before. But since your molecular structure is very similar to Zandarians, it should work. It'll work. So long as you are standing inside the lighted ring, you do not want to know what happened last time someone did not stand where I told them to, okay? Stand by for teleportation.
that. You made it. Oh. I mean, oh. of course. What? No a prime. They're ready. Excellent. Where did this come from? <laughs> what you see before is the cosmic generator. And in just a few moments, we'll be activating it so you can experience for yourself what's happening. I'm not sure. Our power's out. And the cosmic generator is gone. Interior mark. Go to Code Red. Prepare the fleet. And call the guardians. Now. There is no cause for alarm. Turn off that alarm. I've got an important transmission coming in. Hey, you want to talk now before? Our cosmic hey. generator has been stolen. What? How? What did we think of that? That thing's got to be worth a fortune. I am Groot. The question. Yeah, who do you think took it? Perhaps that really big man outside your ship. Oh, that is a big man. I need to alert Nova Prime. I am watching terrorists for the odds. That's not crazy at all. This species has failed. Wait, whoa, 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 we didn't even know there was a test. He's got the cosmic generator. He's creating a new jump point. Jump point to where? Not where. It's so good, a new jump point. It's going back to the dawn of time. Dawn of time, why? To erase an error. Well, that doesn't sound good. Your time is over. Wait, whoa, well, what do you mean? What do you mean it's so vague? The jump point is closing. Hey, no, we do. You're not recording to follow that. We can't. Our power is down, and I've got to get these Terrans onto evacuation shows. I got it. I rebooted mean, the shows to follow through the jump board. Wait, what? Look, look, they're our only chance to keep a track of that whack job until we get the cosmic generator back. Piece of cake. What? They're escaping. Where is the escape? The odds are impossible. <laughs> yep. But it's our only shot. Good luck. Are you sure you can control it? Come on, it's me. We got this. We're all toast. First it was cake, now there is toast. This plan is making me so hungry. <laughs> Terrence, listen up. You need to make your way to the evacuation shuttle. Loading station. Have you put mine in there in a second? All right, we're about to load in. I gotta put my phone up. Wish us luck. Well, that was amazing. Bad thing is we get off of it, and our lightning lane is already available. But we're gonna go chill. We're actually gonna ride Spaceship Earth. Figure we head up to Spaceship Earth. Something slow. I still feel my breakfast in my belly. Ready to also bring us with it. We're back. I feel like we were just here. It's been a lot of deja vu in this uh, trip. We go on, like, go somewhere and then we walk past it again, like, shortly after. Just finished Spaceship Earth, nice and slow, and we're back. We got our lightning lane, so twice. First thing in the morning. Oh, yeah. Just nailed Space 220, by the way, for lunch. I walked onto your vehicle. We'll be right behind you. Nothing to worry about. Unless we cannot stop this unusually large man. Then you're likely doomed. Rats! Come on! You get a need it. So how do y'all feel?
Well, just a little woozy. Not bad though. Like I'm okay. Like I'm not like getting off a of Manta type woozy. Like I just feel okay. Time to calm down. That's why we like Disney though, because you can ride something like this, and then you can go ride like living with the land. And you're like, oh, let's calm down a little bit. <laughs> so yeah, uh, we rode it twice within an hour. So it uh, if you do get queasy on rides, that might hit you. So just be be mindful. Festival of the Arts. Wow, look at that thing. Oh my God. Let's get your mom that. <laughs> It's only, don't know, like $3,000. Not not exaggerating, that's probably about what they run. Look at the, the uh, ghosts. Hitchhiking ghosts? Hitchhiking? Yeah. They usually have small copies that you can get of these for a little bit cheaper. Bubbles! Smoke for <laughs> Got it. Look at the menu. Salmon. Salmon. What is that? The other stuff that comes with it. Those are mushrooms. <laughs> We're about 15 minutes early. We're gonna see if they'll let us check in. So this has never even been back here. I've seen this from Test Track. Where do we go? Oh, there's Test Track. Space plants. Welcome to Space Travelers. Make it that boarding pass. Wow. That's so cool. Yep. So I got the broad, the, what is this called? Sabrada de Mozza. It's a mozzarella thingy. You got the calamari. Kylie got the Caesar. She's already going for it. What is that? Is that just lettuce? Oh, okay. She got a fan fancy Caesar salad. That's dark over there. That just looks like calamari. Cool sauces. This thing's weird. <laughs> yeah. Like, like in half. All the way. And you spread over. Oh, looky in there. It's gooey. It is. But just like mix this. It's just a rare calamari. It's the red. <laughs> That's a pepper. <laughs> you is a liar. <laughs> is that what you ate first? Yep. You just ate straight pepper? Right? Those no. are jalapenos too. Daddy, look at that. Oh, wow. Yeah. Cool. Kylie's fancy salmon. Here you go. Whoa. <laughs> It's so pretty. <laughs> Thank you. So I got my steak salad. That actually looks really good. Everything looks good. Like yeah, nothing else. It looks pretty good too. Everything. This is so like colorful. It's just so beautiful. Just like that, we're in Magic Kingdom.
Now I know what you're thinking. Matt, we didn't hear anything about Space 220. We did enjoy Space 220. The food was okay, but the environment was wonderful. I give it an 8 out of 10. I'd recommend doing it at least once. Now this Magic Kingdom Day, we're going to have to save that for part 2. So you're just going to have to check back when that's released.